here today, Kirk. Can you tell the voters a little bit about you? Uh, thanks, Melanie. Um, Kirk McCaslin. I'm 57 years old. Um, I'm a lifelong resident of Mill Creek. I'm born and raised in Northwest area. Um, I'm married. I have four adult children. I have a two-year-old grandson. I have two dogs. Um, I've been employed by Mill Creek Township for 37 years, 22 uh, as an emergency dispatcher, in the last 15 as a streets department employee, plowing snow, salting roads, repairing roads. Um, I've been a firefighter with Westlake Fire Department for 39 years. Um, of that 39, I've been a chief officer for 23, and I've been the chief for 15. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm just a guy that gets stuff done. Um, I think that's what we need right now is more action and less talk. Sure, what an amazing background. So, and what a com commitment to Mill Creek. I feel like you, uh, you definitely have shown your, your commitment to service and your, your willingness to serve a community uh, as a whole. So how do you think your experience or your experiences or your experiences make you a right pick for Mill Creek Township Supervisor? I'm gonna to bring to the table leadership. Um, I think there's a lack of that right now. There's status quo. Um, the, the issues with the roads and the flooding, um, they're not being addressed. I drive through neighborhoods and that's top on people's concern is when's my road gonna get paid? We can do that. We just need to get to work. Sure, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. So if elected in the primaries May 18th, um, if elected in the primary and then if you're successful in November, what would be your top three priorities once you get into office? First and foremost is the roads. Um, again, driving through the neighborhoods, talking with the people. Everybody wants their road paved. It's certainly not possible to do that, but there needs to be a plan in place and to use all of our resources available to do that. Flooding is another, <clears throat> excuse me, issue. Um, Several areas have been identified. Nothing's happened. We've got people, you know, they're leaving their homes, businesses relocating because of this. And another is our parks. There's 32 of them and there's limited manpower to take care of them. I think we can do a better job um, with all of them. Absolutely. So when you're out door to door and talking to, to people on the phone, I know, I know with the, the pandemic, it's made voter outreach a little bit difficult. Um, do you have one centralized promise other than the plans and the, the ideas that you have? Uh, do you have one promise to the, the folks of Mill Creek that you're, you're making? I do. Um, and that promise is to only serve one term. And that's a six year term. Uh, again, I'm 57, that takes me to 63. Hopefully, retire from that. Um, I'm not looking to make a political career out of this at all. Um, I want to get stuff done. I want to ensure that projects that are on the table don't get pushed away again. We need to act on them. So, yes, just the one six year term and get things in place so that if they don't get done in that amount of time, that the next group can get them done. Sure. Well, and I feel like it, it provides a sense of accountability um, as well as uh, an expedited nature because you know your, your amount of time in office, you know. Um, so I'm a competitive girl. Can you tell me why you're different than any of the, the opponents out there? I know how to work with people and I know how to get the job done. Um, you know, you may, some people may scoff at you know, the volunteer fire service. It's an entirely challenging another job. I was chief for 15 years. I think I earned the, the members trust, but I was also able to, to lead them not into a harmful situation, but to accomplish the job. Another is with uh, like a major purchase. You know, there could be 30 or 40 different opinions to try and get that into one or two centralized ideas and then move forward with that. It's, it's a tough job, it really is. And again, uh, doing it for as long as I did, I think I can bring that to the table. Sure, 
Absolutely. So you had mentioned um, the fire department, and I'm assuming that, and I've obviously never served in, in a fire department, can you just describe a little bit about the sense of camaraderie? Like, does that, does that exist? It absolutely does. Um, you know, uh, one of the big terms or buzzwords uh, associated with the fire department is brotherhood. Over time, you know, uh, a, a new guy coming in or whatever um, becomes part of the family, becomes, uh, you know, like a little brother or an older brother. Or it does, it becomes uh, like family. Sure, absolutely. So with your roles that you served within the fire department, what were the biggest challenges you believe that the, the township faces? So you've, you've had some managerial experience, obviously, within the fire department. It gives you the ability to see those challenges. What do you believe the township faces in relation to first responders? I got to tell you, um, I'm on the fire commission right now, and one of the uh, critical uh, components right now that uh, is pretty close to failing is the manpower issue. Um, daytime especially. But it's not just daytime, it's nighttime. That's the most glaring one is during the day. One of the departments has an emergency response team um, where they pay three guys from seven in the morning till five at night. That's a step in the right direction. But the commission is still a work in progress. And with COVID, we've been kind of haven't been able to meet in person or you know zoom or whatever um it's still a work in progress but manpower issues are are a huge concern right now and to take that a step further manpower issues with our police department we're down five to six policemen right now i think that's uncalled for they're talking about lessening the amount of patrol officers on certain shifts as well, days and midnights. Has crime gone down? I don't think. That, that's uncalled for as well. That should be a decision left up to the administration. Sure. So I'm with your experience in the, the township building, I'm assuming you have a lot of conversations back and forth with people. So one could say that you have a lot of firsthand experience just by hearing the issues you know, people talking, as well as lunchroom conversation and water cooler breaks. So you, you have, in essence, this boatload of experience that you would originally bring to the table on day one. Would that be an accurate statement? That is very accurate. Um, again, the, the information gathered out in the field from the residents or whatever is invaluable. Again, everybody wants their road paved. Um, the water cooler uh, talk and stuff too. It, it, again, uh, talking about how can we do things differently? How can we do things better? Absolutely, day one, I could step in and start to affect change. Sure. Um, so final question. I know we're, we're nearing our, our end of the, the time we're allotted here. Um, and we would like to thank, you know, the great people at Community Access Television for this opportunity. If people wanted to get a hold of you, how would they do so? Do you have like a Facebook page or how would they do that? So I am on Facebook, uh, Kirk McCaslin for Supervisor, and absolutely can call my campaign at 814-218-0563. And as this is our uh, last question, I would like to thank as well. And to the voters of Mill Creek, I would be humbled and honored for your support and your vote on Tuesday, May 18th. Awesome. And that primary is Tuesday, May 18th. And then obviously um, after those results, then hopefully we'll see you in the November general election. Thank you so much for your time, Kirk. Thank you. I'm former Mill Creek Township Supervisor John Grow, and I'm here to interview Kim Clear. She is a candidate in the uh, May primary for Mill Creek Township Supervisor. Uh, this, uh, the winner of this election will go on to the general election in November. Uh, Kim is taking on an incumbent uh, in the primary, and we're going to get some information from her and ask her 
why she is uh, the person that she wants to be as a supervisor. Kim, tell us about yourself. First of all, thank you very much, John, for mm -hmm. uh, uh, doing this interview. I, I yes. appreciate it so much. Um, so I am a Mill Creek uh, Township School District teacher, okay. actually. That is my full-time job. Okay. Um, I have been teaching for 17 years. Okay. Uh, I taught for 14 years at J.S. Wilson Middle School. Okay. And I have been teaching at McDowell Senior High School for four years now. That's very and rewarding. Yes, yeah. it is. It's, it's wonderful. I have okay. enjoyed all 17 of my years okay. um, and uh, working with the, with the students. Okay. And uh, well, how about uh, family? You live in Mill Creek, obviously. Yes, I do. I have been a resident of Mill Creek for 15 years. Okay. 15 years. 15 years. Okay. Yes, yes. My yeah. husband and I actually um, okay. bought our home, I believe it was in 2006, Okay. And uh, in Mill Creek. And then mm. we just recently moved a year and a half ago okay. again in Mill Creek. Yes. Okay. And you have and two daughters? You have two, I have daughters two daughters, too? I, we actually moved to Mill Creek because my uh, older daughter, who is now 17, mm -hmm. she was three and she, we had to start thinking about schools. And okay. I'll be honest with you, I was teaching in the Mill Creek Township School District, and I loved our school district so yes. much. I loved okay. what we were doing, believe in what we do okay. in Mill Creek Township. And um, I wanted my I wanted my children to be a part of that. So okay. that's why we moved to Mill Creek. Okay. So you're a teacher. Uh, you have a degree, a, a teaching degree from where? What, I what do. University? Yes, actually, I, I have my um, degree from um, uh, Mercyhurst University. Mercyhurst University. University. Okay. That's right. I actually studied um, uh, political science and oh, also English. Political which, science and English. Yes, I and did. And then you have a degree in and teaching. And then I went back and got my teaching certification. Okay. And a few years later, I had worked actually in marketing okay. and uh, for a few years. And then when I had my family, I, I realized okay. that I, I wanted to be a part of their life. Okay. So. so, of course, many people know you uh, that you're on county council, that you represent Mill Creek Township on your county council. Correct. Yes, I love working on county council. Okay. Um, so I was elected a few years ago to county council. Okay. Um, and it has been such an honor to serve mm. and represent Mill Creek, but serve the entire county. Okay. Um, and I think that one of the most enjoyable parts of this have, has been my my ability to immerse, immerse myself in all areas of county government. It okay. is vast. Okay. And um, it, has, uh, it has its spokes, I would say, mm -hmm. um, in every single um, area of a person's life. Okay. Um, I, I have immersed myself in all parts of the county government okay. as well. So. so you do know government, you yes. know county government, yes. Yes. and you know how Between... Mill Creek Township government, or actually township yes. governments That's in correct. general. correct, yes. And yeah. I know Mill Creek Township's relationship with the county and okay. with the state because as a, as a county representative, I actually deal a lot with the state and federal government. Okay, so you're very much aware of government. You're not a newcomer to this. No. You, you, okay, that's, that's, I think that's good for, I think the voters yes. need to know that. Yes. You're just not a novice at this. You are experienced working Correct. in government. Correct. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's good. Now, when you service on a county council, what, uh, what uh, committees do you serve on with Erie County Council? Oh, so uh, my first year, actually, I was, um, I was, uh, it was an honor that I have been, uh, I was asked to be the finance chairwoman. Okay. Um, and I am still serving as finance chairwoman as well. Okay. Um, I have also uh, been selected uh, to be uh, the vice uh, chairperson of county council. All right. Uh, because of all of the work that I've done. Um, I serve on the election board as well. Okay. And until I actually decided that I was running for an office. I was the uh, vice chairwoman of that uh, as well. Okay. Um, I've also been asked to serve on the Pleasant Ridge Board um, of Directors. I okay. am a part of the Retirement Board. Okay. Uh, I was assigned to that. I have uh, also um, in, and also with the Pleasant Ridge um, uh, okay. Retirement Board. I'm okay. a liaison for the airport in Mill Creek. Um, and I know I could keep going. And okay. Go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. So yes. you're, you're looking at moving from uh, county government as a county council Correct. person and going to Mill Creek Township mm -hmm. and serving just Mill Creek Township was what the the, the office, the elected office of township Correct. supervisor does. Yes. So you're bringing all of that to serve Mill Creek Township as a supervisor. You know, I think yeah. that, and that is actually why I am so happy to be able to do this because okay. I have been dealing not only with um, public safety, yes. um, I've been dealing with the health department during okay. a pandemic. Okay. And you know, this the, the pandemic actually has opened okay. our eyes to all of the, all that is going on okay. here within the township or within the county. Yeah. Um, and I've been, I, I've served well, as well with the planning department, okay. um, with all of the grant funding projects that we have and uh, with the D, DCE and, our, and the okay. state government. Okay. Well, since you mentioned uh, the public safety aspect, I'm oh, going to get yes. right into the tough questions right. here, Kim. Okay. Um, Bring it on. 
Recently, in the last month or two, um, there's been some controversy or some news about the Mill Creek Police Department, mm -hmm. about the uh, staffing cuts. You might want to call it that. I'm not sure exactly how, how it's being phrased, but there's some concerns about uh, lack of shift coverage, uh, that things are being changed around, uh, possibly putting uh, residents in some sort of situation, you know, yeah. that there may not be enough officers out there. Mm -hmm. And this also reflects on the officer safety too. Correct. Uh, what, a, what can you tell me about this? Sure. Uh, you know, um, again, this is one of the reasons that I felt it was my, it was my job and my duty okay. to run, okay. um, is to, again, it, our job is to serve the community okay. and our, our, our biggest responsibility as being a servant, a public servant, um, is to keep people safe. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it is, it is very unfortunate. Uh, basically what has happened is that they have not replaced any of the retirees in the department for about a year. Okay. And a half. So that's, that's mm -hmm. what's going on. That's is what's that. going on. Correct. Okay. Um, they have actually um, made a statement. Um, the Bell Creek Township Supervisors have now because of the pressure that has been on um, because of the public outcry okay. for this, yes. um, because we have such fewer officers that are able to, um, uh, that are able to be involved on, in on the scene, um, uh, okay. discrepancies or respond, and things like responding. responding yeah. That's right. Yeah. And, you know, uh, so we, there was a bit of public outcry, unfortunately. So basically uh, what the supervisors have said that is that they will not hire in 2021, but they will look into hiring in 2022. Oh, Nothing has been signed, um, but okay. we are still here at this shortage. And we, okay. um, I, I, and I think, you know, something else that has happened too, unfortunately, is that, um, you know, our, our, the Mill Creek Police Department has been, um, has, it, it's, it, they're being looked at as being invaluable, that we don't need them, and we do need oh, them. Boy. We need them okay. to keep us safe. That's alarming, yes, because it we is. do need uh, public safety. Yes, we do. But, but another facet of public safety I want to ask you about is the fire service. Of course, mm -hmm. we have uh, four volunteer fire companies in Mill Creek Township, and mm -hmm. there, there's a, a fifth company that, which is contracted by Mill Creek Township to serve the northwest portion of, of Mill Creek. Correct. Um, any thoughts about the, uh, the volunteer service and where, where we are at? Mm -hmm. And I believe, of course, Mill Creek Township has had a fire commission and they've had some success in getting some things done, but is it moving in the direction that you like? Do you think that things need to be uh, changed around a little bit? Uh, well, you know, I think the first thing that needs to happen is the conversation and yeah. um, where we have all of our fire companies come in and then we okay. also meet with the entire county. So this okay. again brings in my county experience. Experience. I have a I have a, I have a global look at the at, at this at this okay. issue. Okay. Yes. So versus just all just being in Mill Creek. Okay. And you know some of this um, may have to do with um, having some full time staff. Okay. Um, so that we can you know make sure that we are having um, the. Uh, rather than call it man, I'll call it person. Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, because there are women firefighters, are, yes, 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 and yes. police officers, and, yes. And I cannot thank them enough. Yes. The volunteer fire people are absolutely phenomenal. Right. Um, putting their lives on the line for us. Yeah, um, they do. But anyway, so yeah, so that I think that has to be a conversation. What are their needs? And I think that that's been something that's been, I don't, okay. we've been losing. We, we haven't had, we don't have a conversation uh, going right now. Well, you know what? You know, it's, how about the the uh, the idea of respect uh, for each other? You know, maybe that. Do you think that would help? You know, I if think there so. was less um, con adversarial. Do you Correct. think that? You know, if there wasn't so much adversarial. Yeah, uh, I attitude, think um, I know? do. I and I do believe, unfortunately, in our township right now, um, there is an adversarial feel okay. to um, to the to the township building. You know, I, oh, okay. I I I'm running because residents asked me to run. I see. Okay. I'm running because the township has asked me to run. Okay. People. Okay. The voters, the people that are living here every day. Yes. They and uh, they they see, they know what's going on, and they are, uh, and, and and they also see the complacency, and they are frustrated. Okay. okay. Um, I have not been complacent since the day I was born. You can ask my mother. <laughs> okay. I don't. Sit, we'll we'll I give her a call right now. We'll, I don't push papers. <laughs> okay. And. Um, and I think something that I also bring to this is, okay. is a leadership quality, which brings people together. I have been okay. leading people my okay. entire life. Okay. And, and I, I'm able to, uh, to make bridges, okay. to build them. 
Bridges. and and create relationships between people, which is actually what I've been doing on council. I create okay. relationships uh, with all parts of the community okay. and, uh, and, and, and and different parts of the actual township. Yeah, would it be fair um, to say you're building yeah. bridges instead of moats and walls around the township? Correct, okay. yes, I'm yes. Just, and I will tell you, yeah. I know I've said this before and you've heard me say, uh, other people have heard me say this, but uh, Mill Creek has been put on an island. They have put themselves on an island. A political island. Yes, okay. yes, That's... so unfortunately, um, at, throughout the county and through county offices yeah. in the county, it is known that Mill Creek has placed themselves on an island okay. um, so that our resources are only those in Mill Creek. Um, that isolationist okay. uh, perspective yeah. is not how we are going to build our community. Okay, I understand that there. So you, your proposal is to fix that, to correct that? And yes, yes, try I, to I want those, to work with uh, Summit. Those, I want to work with Fairview, I want to work with Harbor Creek, I want to work with okay. Erie, and I have relationships that I have built you over the last have, few years. You already years. do have them in the county. All yes. I have to, uh, okay. yes, exactly, so that I can I can do that. Okay. You know, we have to talk about zoning. That's another big issue here in, in Mill Creek Township. Yes. Um, you know, we have this plan, Embrace Mill Creek, and uh, which is a comprehensive plan, that's, right. uh, that, which they named, mm -hmm. Embrace Mill Creek, right. but it is a comprehensive plan. Most communities have those. Um, and uh, but what are we doing? It has, it's sat on a shelf for for three years, and and about eight weeks ago, when I decided to run, it was taken off the shelf. <laughs> it's been dusted off. Okay. Who knew? Yes. Yeah, so it's... anyway, uh, yes, it's been. But but we need to actually be implementing that, and we need to take right. a look at that though, because again, that's now three four years old. Are we looking at the zoning um, uh, our, our ordinances? We I have been talking to so many business owners out there, mm -hmm. John. They are so frustrated because of the zoning uh, 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 ordinances that exist in Mill Creek Township. Okay. It's frustrating to them, okay. and we have different businesses who've decided that they don't want to come here. We have had contracts pulled okay. because of how difficult Mill Creek Township has made it okay. in order so to you, invest. Your plan is to, ch is to change that, to correct yes. that around there. Okay, um, you know, one of the other things here, which everybody seems to have a complaint about, and it just seems every year it happens no matter where it's at, the roads. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You know, and this was I knock a, this on the door, I hear roads. This was a problem yeah, that, uh, right. that uh, I dealt with when I was a supervisor. Yeah. And uh, uh, I believe I'm not trying to be nonchalant, and I don't think you're going to be nonchalant about it. Uh, the fact is that roads need to be maintained they and they need to be paved. Um, but from what I have understood, that there really has not been an increase in the, the mileage of no. roads that are paved. Mm -mm. Maybe no. the number of streets or the names of streets might be more. Correct. But the actual mileage yes. it is within and you know, a mile or two. A piece yeah. of information that needs to get out there too. That there yeah. has been no, there has been an increase in the number of roads, but not the increase not in the number of miles, miles in ten that, years. That's, yeah. And I think that that is something that people do not. Uh, I, I have the information right. which I can provide. But, but whether we, been, whether the township repaves them or not, correct. The fact is, there's potholes that can be fixed. Yes. And maybe fixed in a correct manner. That's right. And, that's right. You know, I know. And uh, unfortunately, the uh, what. What's being used at this time, and this is something that we all need to consider, mm -hmm. is it environmentally um, safe? Mm -hmm. And also, um, it, it creates a mess in people's driveways. That's yes. actually the other thing that I am hearing okay. from so many people. What are our okay. other options? And yeah. that's what I'm here to do. That's, okay. that's what I want to do. Okay. One thing I wanted to, and I know we just have a few, about a minute left here, I wanted to ask you about something. Your uh, your opponent has claimed that you have, uh, that you work for special interest groups. Did he come out and exactly say it that way, or is that just something? That... Um, no, he said that he does not work for special. He does interest. not. Okay. He does not, or any political okay. part, or, or okay. for the party. Okay, um, I misunderstood. I'm sorry if I if no, I misquoted. No, you didn't. No, that's exactly what he But in, in, what in the said. less than a minute that and we I, have I do, here, I do want to address that because yeah. um, uh, there are no special interest groups that have asked me to run. That's I, yeah, that's that's my point. There. I, okay. I'm running because the citizens, the township asked me to. Okay. And, and I, I will tell you, I have, I've had my finger on the pulse of this community for 17 years. I hear okay. the stories from my students okay. and, their, and their families. So, okay. So in the next 25 seconds there, tell the voters why they should vote for you. <laughs> you should vote for Kim Clear. And you should vote for Kim Clear because I have the experience, I have the knowledge, I have the global mindset to take what we are doing here and create a modern Mill Creek for everyone so that all of our families can live and thrive. Thank you very much, Kim. Thank you.